Hello friends, welcome to all of you in this online teaching learning class and congratulate to all of you for successful completion F5 become course and enter in this new class S5 become CBCS pattern 2019. Last year we have studied the business economics micro in SEM first and second. This year we also study the business economics macro in SEM third and SEM fourth. First of all, I am introduce myself. Myself, Assistant Professor Santosh Prabhakar Ara, MEP KTHM College Nasi of Department of Economics. And this year we study the business economics in bracket macro in semester third and fourth. So let us start with our syllabus. Under the Savitribhai Phule Pune University, S5 Vcom Sem 3, CBCS Pattern 2019, year 2020 to 21, the new syllabus launched by the university. So, revised syllabus this year for the Business Economics Macro, the course code is 233, and there is a three credit for this course. And under this, there are the four chapters. And topic first is about the introduction of macroeconomics, meaning and definition of macroeconomics, limitations of macroeconomics, importance of macroeconomics, and macroeconomic objective is included in topic one. The topic two is about the national income, GNP, NNP, and disposable income, per capita income. There are the number of uh, national income concept, the measurement of national income difficulties of national income and circular clock income expenditure is explained in topic 2. Topic 3 is about the theory of employment. There are the, uh, classified two main theories, the classical theory and the modern theory. The classical theory which is explained by the JBC, Adam Smith, Marshall and the other people and the other hand the modern theory which is the explained by the J.M. Keynes. So, employment theory is discussed in topic 3, the Keynesian critics on the classical theory and the critics on the Keynesian theory also in the topic 3. Topic 4 is about the consumption, saving and investment. So, let us start with the topic 1. So, we have to learn in the topic 1, introduction of macroeconomics means what is the macroeconomics, meaning and definition of macroeconomics nature of macroeconomics, the scope of macroeconomic, significance of macroeconomics and the macroeconomic objective. And let us start with the topic number one, the introduction of macroeconomics. So before we start of the macroeconomics introduction, we just start the introduction of our subject business economics. So last year we also studied the what is meant by the business economics business plus economics is equal to business economics. So business economics is the combination of business and economics. So business plus economics is equal to business economics. So what is business? Simply put it any activity or enterprises enter into the for profit. Business is the work related to production, buying and selling of goods and services. It is included to the business. So, any activity, enterprise earn to the profit, it's including the business and the production, buying and selling of goods and services included to the business. And economics, there are a number of definition of the economics. The Adams we think that the study of wealth means the economics. But the Robbins is giving the perfect definition of the economics. Economics is the science which is study the human behavior as a relation between ends and scale means which are the alternative uses. So economics is a science which is study the human behavior and economic behavior and their relation between the ends means the uh, their wants and the scale resources. So economic science which is the study how to manage unlimited wants in limited resources. Thus the business plus economics is equal to business economics. And what is business economics? Business economics is of the one of the branch of economics where the application of economic theories 
principal models tools into the business and give an efficient direction to business or make it profitable or productive so use of the economics knowledge theories and principle and give efficient direction to business and make it profitable means the business economics so it is the combination of business and economics means the business economics so let us start with the point the macro economics so there are the two important parts in the business economics microeconomics and macroeconomics last year we also studied the microeconomics micro means the small the individual the one firm and the one particular product price study under the microeconomics and what is the macroeconomics macroeconomics is the aggregate macroeconomics means the large and total and aggregate study which is applied to the whole is included in macroeconomics the the term of macro and macro were first used by the norwegian economics professor ragnar frisch oslo university in 1933 so in the 1933 the first used the word of micro and macro after that adopted for the word the term of micro and macro both are derived from the greek term micros and macros so origin of macroeconomics the origin of microeconomics from the adam smith book of the wealth of nation which is published in year of 1776 and therefore he is a consist the father of microeconomics he explained the theory of firm and the behavior of the firm macroeconomics approach to study the comparatively new approach and recently origin after the 1929 great depression it is a modern approach to the study of economics it is also study in the past but did not exist a separate branch of the economics so it is a recently origin branch microeconomics analysis is more popular till to the great depression 1929 but after the great depression the there are the huge unemployment the create in all over the world and the classical or microeconomic analysis is a fail to analysis or solve the problem of depression and unemployment so on this the background the jm keynes john maynard keynes published his books the general theory of employment interest and money and published in 1936 after that the macroeconomics more important and become more popular approach to study of the economic analysis that's why in the modern economics jm keynes call is the father of the macroeconomics so modern economics the jm keynes is the father of economics so macroeconomics is the become popular after 1930s great depression because the uh, in 1929 great depression the macroeconomics failed to analyze the situation of depression and unemployment and the certain limitation is exposed by the jm keynes theory the general theory of employment interest and money so macroeconomic branch is origin in after 1930s so jm keynes is given the credit to develop of the macroeconomics so what meaning of the macroeconomics the term of macroeconomics derived from the greek word macros we study large aggregate of the economy so it is the aggregate it is the total and the study of the whole economy is included in the macroeconomics such as the total national income total national output total consumption aggregate investment and general price level the study is included in macroeconomics so macro means large aggregate you and the study of whole economy and so that's why the total demand total supply total national income and general price level is considered study in the macroeconomics so macroeconomics meaning means macro is large aggregate and study of whole economy hello friend then we start with the definition of the macroeconomics the r j d l the term of macroeconomics apply to the study of relation between the broad economic aggregate so according to allen the definition of macroeconomics means the term of macroeconomics apply to the study of relation between the broad economic aggregates the aggregate like the aggregate demand 
aggregate supply, the aggregate investment, aggregate consumption. The next definition is given by the professor Golding. The macroeconomic is the study of nature, relation and behavior of aggregate of economic quantities. So macroeconomics deal not with the individual but the aggregate of these quantities. So according to Professor Golding, macroeconomics is study of the nature, relation and the behavior of aggregate economic quantities. And the macroeconomics not deal with the individual but microeconomics deal with the individual but aggregate of these quantities deal with the macroeconomics. The other definition is given by the P. A. Samuelson. The macroeconomics is the study or the behavior of the economy as a whole. It is a examined overall level of national output, employment, price and the foreign trade. So macroeconomic study of the behavior economy as a whole, the study of the whole economy. And it is examined overall level of national output, employment, price and foreign trade. So macroeconomics is the deal with the national output, employment, price and foreign trade. So another question is the one is a separate study of the macroeconomics. What is true for the individual component? It is not true of a collective whole. What is true and valid in the case of individual industry does not show in the case of economic system as a whole. According to Bolding, has called this the paradox as a macroeconomics paradox. So means which is the important into the micro point of view, these are the not important in the macro point of view. So there are a separate study need of the macroeconomics. According to Professor Bolding, he compared the whole economic system with the forest. So he compared the whole economy with the forest and the individual firm industry means the trees in the forest. So whole economy means the study of forest and the individual study means the study of the tree. So according to him, it will be misleading to apply the rule of governing individual trees to generalize about the behavior of the forest. So when we observe the behavior of the trees and we make a statement about the forest, it is the wrong thing. So study of the macroeconomics is separate, is necessary according to Bolding. The other example is given about the macroeconomic paradox is the paradox of thrift. Suppose the, there is one bank in the economic system and saving of one individual person is the important for his future. So saving of one individual person in the economy, it is good for his uh, future. But when the saving of the whole society, that time it is the trouble to economic activity of the economy. And similar thing, whenever one person withdraws the money from the bank, it is not effect to the bank and not harmful to the bank. But at a time when all the persons withdraw the money from the bank, it is harmful for the economic activity. So that's why the need of the separate study of the macroeconomics is put it by the Professor Bolling. So summary, what we learn from this video, it is a new and recent origin of the macroeconomics after the Second World War, Great Depression 1930s. And when the microeconomics fell to analysis of the situation of Great Depression and unemployment and this background, J.M. Keynes was published his book General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money in 1936 and after that macroeconomics become more popular and applied to the study of economic analysis. This led a foundation of macroeconomics. So J.M. Keynes make a foundation to macroeconomics. That's why the modern economics called J.M. Keynes is the father of macroeconomics. It is the behavior of the economy as a whole. We study the large aggregate of the economy. So macroeconomics means the study of the whole economy, study of the large aggregate, total demand, total supply, total consumption, total output and employment. So these large aggregate study into the macroeconomy, such as total national income, the total national output, total consumption, aggregate investment and general price they are study into the macroeconomics. So references for the further studies, you can refer the ML Jingles Macroeconomics Theory Vinda Publication Mumbai 
the Acharya Naprogram Theory Exam Publication New Delhi, the Dilip KK and Navalkar Varnikram Theory Exam New Delhi, Prasar RG Aspira Kapri Gotekar Business Class Macro Person Publication Center and Fourth is also available in market and the library. So next is the what is the learn from this video. So assignment for you the right short note on so five marks each for the one short notes. Write short notes on the origin of macroeconomics, the business economics. What do you mean by the business economics? Meaning and definition of macroeconomics. What is mean by macroeconomics and what is the definition of macroeconomics? Need of macroeconomic study. Why the separate study is need of the macroeconomics? So thank you to watching this video and the next time we also learn the next point.